Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that wonderful name, Candy's Cozy Couch. Yes. And I got to give a shout out to C5. C5 over there. Okay. Here's one of our representatives right here, my cuddle buddies. The C5 is the Candy's Cozy Couch Cuddly Crew. That's why I call it C5. Made up of C5. Five C words. How about that? All right. Well, hey, we got to get this show on the road. So I got my hand drum here and the mallet. Stick. Hey. What? It's time. Hey. What? For the checklist. Hey. It's time. What? For the checklist. Hey. too into that because I'll be banging the drum all evening. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, things are a little bit scattered here on my table, but I'm retching around to see if I can find my checklist. It was just a little bit out of reach. I found it. All right. I found it. Whew. Goodness. I don't know. I'm just doing too much. All right, boys and girls, I hope that you had a beautiful day. And I hope you did something wonderful and fantastic, something different, something exciting, brand new, okay, something extraordinary that you'll always remember. Boom, right? That's always a great day, isn't it? Now, I also hope you ate your dinner and you enjoyed time with your family and you all ate together. And had good conversation, showed each other love, talked and chatted, expressed ideas and concerns, and how you felt, and maybe planned a little bit for tomorrow. How about that? Now, did you do your homework? I hope you did your homework, boys and girls. Your academic practice is very important. And also after dinner, did you do your chores? Did you help clean up? After you were done eating your meal, maybe you helped wash dishes, swept the floor, mopped the floor, you know, cleaned off tables and countertops, made sure that your bedrooms are clean. Most importantly, make sure those bedrooms are clean. Now, all that said and done, let's pick those PJs out. Get your favorites. That's always fun. And pick out your clothes that you're going to wear for tomorrow so you don't have to do it in the morning. So that gives you maybe a little bit more time to sleep or lay in bed before you get up. Ah, oh, man, you got to make sure you take those baths or those showers. You want to be fresh and clean from head to toe. And then you want to dry off really well with your towel. Make sure you put that lotion on, okay, so that your skin is soft and smooth. And don't forget to brush your teeth, floss your teeth, and rinse out your mouth. Take those three things and do it in three minutes. How about that? And what else? You got to wash your hair, maybe. Comb your hair. Wrap it up. Tie it up. Do something with your hair. Don't forget to clean your ears, boys and girls. That's on the list. Clean your ears and nostrils if necessary because our sinuses can wreak havoc on us from time to time. Oh, let's see. Don't forget to use the toilet one last time before you go to bed. We want to clear out our body so that we can relax and be comfortable as we sleep and hopefully don't have to get up to address any bodily functions in the middle of the night. But should that happen... Boys and girls, don't forget to put your night light on. Turn that night light on so you can see where you're going if you do need to navigate in the house in the middle of the night. Now listen, don't forget to read a book or have someone read you a book. You know, a bedtime story is a, a very important part of the nighttime bedtime routine. And that's why I'm going to be I'm here on Candy's Cozy Couch. Got my members of C5 on deck. We gonna do this bedtime story. It's coming. So I got a couple more things on the checklist to make sure you guys do. If you take medication or you have any special um needs at the end of the night for yourself, whether it's a vitamin or medication or something um, uh, that you need help with, make sure that your parents are available to, to give you assistance. And don't, obviously, don't forget it. Whatever you do, don't forget it. 
Now, we're getting down to the wire here. So if you have your cuddle buddies and your checklist is pretty much done, go ahead and get in bed under your covers. Snug as a bug in the rug. Comfy and cozy. Yes, indeed. Now, but now when I say comfy and cozy, I mean minus toys, minus books, minus miscellaneous clothing items. Just you, your cuddle buddy, and whatever blankets, pillows, and sheets that you need, okay? Anything else? Uh-uh. Nope. Not in the bed while you're sleeping. And all that said, we got to make sure to say our prayers. Please make sure you say your prayers before you drift off to dreamland. And I done said that. And that's the final part of the checklist. So check, 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 check. Flip it over. Check, 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 check. All done. I'm going to find it next time. I'm not going to have to struggle to reach for it. Now... Boys and girls, this book, I'm excited to read this. I actually think it's going to be a pretty cool book right here. It is entitled Smile A Lot by Nancy Carlson. Yes, indeed. On the back it says, Carlson makes an undeniable case for grins over grumps. And I think that's pretty cool. Grins over grumps. I am all about that. And here in the middle it says, when things aren't going right, there's something you can do to feel a little better. Or maybe even a lot better. Uh, you don't need special tools to do it. You don't need to spend your allowance on it. You don't even need anyone to help you with it. All you need is your own face. Have any questions? What it is? Smile a lot. All right. I'm going to show you going this way. Because this is the cover for the book where I read that from. And I'm going to pull that cover off because I'm going to make sure that I can comfortably turn the pages. Smile a lot. Smile a lot. Yay. That's a very good suggestion. Let's practice. Show those pearly whites that you just brushed and flossed and rinsed the mouth out, huh? Okay. Here we go. Doo -doo -doo. I'll show you this. He's got his PJs on. At least I think those are his PJs. They certainly look like PJs. Life has all sorts of ups and downs. That's why... You should always smile a lot. It's much easier than complaining. You know what? That is the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. When mom makes oatmeal with prunes for breakfast, ooh, the prunes part has me stumped. Smile a lot. Get your practice on, boys and girls. Show those pearly whites. And ask if you can help make chocolate chip pancakes tomorrow. So you may have to endure the oatmeal and prunes. Which are healthy for you, by the way. Very healthy. So go ahead and eat up. But tomorrow, maybe you can help make a special treat. Then figure out what to do with your oatmeal. Huh, that's funny. Smile a lot. It helps you make friends. And that's absolutely true. All right, if you got brothers and sisters, don't be trying to pass your oatmeal off on your brothers and sisters. It's healthy for your body. Go ahead and eat it. Go ahead and eat it. If you're the new kid in school, don't sit in the corner frowning. Don't do that. Smile a lot. You won't be alone for long. Smile a lot. <laughs> it confuses the tough guys. Yeah, like, what are you smiling for, huh? When the tough guys are hogging the swings. You smile a lot. Yeah. Yeah, sitting there like, what are you smiling at? 
Then you can pay them all kinds of compliments. Like, I like your shirt. Hey, you swinging pretty high. That's a pretty good hairstyle you're wearing, you know. And smile a little lot. And then just disarms them and just makes them say, this guy, hey, all right, let me try what he's doing. Anyway, play on the monkey bars and smile a lot. Okay. The tough guys will think you're having more fun than they are. Yeah. So you're going to lure them off them swings. Oh, I knew it was a catch. Soon you'll have the swings to yourself. <laughs> well, they saw him having all that fun on the monkey bars and were like, wait a minute. Let's go over there and see what Smiley's doing. And he was like, ah, I finally got the swings. Again, smile a lot. <laughs> it gets you through the hard times. When you only get three words right on your spelling test. Yeah, that's a bummer because you might have like 10 to 15 words on there. If you only get three words right, that's not probably a good grade. And you're going to have to practice a little bit more, but that's okay. Smile anyway because you can do better next time. Just smile a lot and no one will know you only got three words right. That's another thing. That's a good cover up. You, you didn't get such a good grade. Instead of frowning, take a deep breath and smile. If anybody asks, say, I'm going to do better next time. I know what I need to do. I got to practice more. Okay, we're going to get it right. We're going to get the rhythm of those words. And when you show the test to your mom and dad, smile a lot. And tell them you'll do better next time. And ask them if they will help you prepare. And I would even redo the words. For the spelling, the spelling test that I did not get a good grade on just to make sure that I get those words. So if they come up again, I won't mess up. Then study hard and next time you might get a perfect score, which is exactly what I was saying. Smile a lot. It gives you lots of courage. That's awesome. Your smile can garner courage. Like I'm smiling. As I read this book, when you have to go to the dentist for checkups, smile a lot. Because the dentist is going to ask you to smile anyway because they want to see what your teeth look like. Uh huh. You, you'll discover the dentist is really not so bad. And they're not. They just want to make sure your teeth are health, healthy and that your pearly whites are truly pearly white. That you're brushing your teeth like you're supposed to, like we say on our checklist every night before I read the story. You might even get a prize or two for bravery, which is a good point because sometimes going to different doctors can be a little scary. But anyway, you smile a lot. It helps you reach your goals. Yes, it does. Yeah, it helps you reach your goals. When you have to run a whole mile at soccer practice, Smile a lot. Yeah, it'll help you get through that mile. Smiling takes a lot less energy than moaning and groaning. Then you can run so fast. That, and I'll tell you what the that is when we turn the page. So yeah, it's better than frowning, you know, better than spending that energy on a smile instead would be much better. How fast can we run? Your, your coach just might start you at forward in the next game. All right. And when nighttime comes, I knew he had on his PJs. And you're starting to fall asleep. All right. Smile a while. Oh, I'm sorry. I almost fell asleep right there in my bed. Yes. Oh, yeah. One more smile. Smile a lot because what? You, you've had a pretty good day. Absolutely. Positively. And then the back of the book has him smiling again. And if you haven't smiled much today, here's a good time to start. Smile a lot. I love it. You guys make sure you smile a lot. Hey, smile your way into your dreams, too. Smile at yourself every morning when you get up, look in the mirror, especially after you brush your teeth. 
Hopefully you did that just now before the story started during your checklist time when you made sure your teeth were brushed. Smile. And if you gave your I love you's, hugs, kisses, smooches, you know, in your last, you know, connection to your family before you fall asleep, because I think I may have forgotten to ask that in tonight's checklist, and we know it's a part of our checklist. You definitely can smile. Showing that love to the pets and family members and loved ones in the house one last time before you go to sleep. Now that we are all done with that awesome story, don't forget to share your smile. Your cheeks should burn from turning those jaws up, turning those frowns upside down. It really does work. It makes you feel much better and it looks good. Okay? Now, with that being said, let's get in bed. We already in bed. Good. Well, you tucked in. Comfy, cozy, snug as a bug in a rug. I always double check that, making sure that you know that you're safe and sound and right where you need to be. And that you're loved and you're wanted and you're needed. And we're glad to have you. And your parents love you. Your siblings love you too, even though you guys are oh, sometimes, oh, I don't know. But anyway, you're going to go ahead and close your eyes. Whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Whatever it may be, it's all up to you. And allow your body to relax as you drift off to sleep so that you can go ahead and dream that special dream. Now, if you don't mind, and I know you don't, I'm going to go ahead and let you do just that. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.